Well done, second graders. We've made it to the end of Living Things in Habitats. Now let's do a module wrap-up. So we're going to do a little wrap-up of what we've learned. And there are some fun activities or tasks that you can try. Habitat wrap-up. You will show what you have learned about hot and cold deserts. So you're just going to need construction paper, which is any thick paper, card paper, crayons, or colored pencils. So make a prediction. Let's guess. How can you make a model to show what you know about hot and cold deserts? Here's an example. You can make a model. Use the paper provided by your teacher or by your parents, anything that you have at home, and fold the paper in half and then open it. So it kind of looks like a card. And then draw a picture of a hot desert on the left side and a cold desert on the right side. And then turn the paper over and record facts about plants, animals, and the weather conditions of a hot and cold desert. So you can list some of the animals that you would find in a hot desert, as some of the animals you would find in a cold desert. And then you can say some of the plants that you would find and how the weather is. So for both of them, since they're deserts, they are dry. Now the essential question, what can live in hot and cold deserts? Think about the photo of the Arctic desert at the beginning of the lesson and use what you have learned to discuss plants and animals that live in a cold desert. So you can think of any, any Arctic desert. You can Google, you can take a look at, I have a picture here for you. So here's a cold Arctic desert. Like I said, it wouldn't have water, it would be all glaciers, all ice. And then use what you have learned to discuss the plants and animals that live there. So remember, we said the plants would grow very slowly and they would not be able to store a lot of water. The animals, do you remember what we said about their fur and about the fat that they have? You can even rate yourself. Color the number of stars that tell how well you did plan and carry out investigations. So if you feel like you, you did these activities really well, give yourself three stars. Here's a performance project. Design your habitat. You will design habitat for a mystery animal. So define a problem. What type, what kind of habitat does a mystery animal need? Well, any animal we know will need food, water, and shelter. Some other things they would need are um, air, the right temperature, and then design a solution. A mystery animal needs a place to live. The animal is big and has yellow fur with black spots. So it's a big animal and it's got fur with yellow and black spots. Yellow with black spots. It hunts monkeys for food. It swims well, but it can also walk long distances. So think about what the mystery animal is and where it lives. I can help you with that. If it has yellow fur with black spots, it could be something like a cheetah or a jaguar. And where does this animal live? We say that jaguars live in places like forests, rainforests. On the next page, right over here in the square, we're going to design a habitat for this mystery animal. Be sure to include the animal and what it needs to survive in its habitat. So I've helped you. I told you what the animal is and what type of environment or habitat it lives in. So now try to design and make sure to include all the things that you would find in the rainforest that the jaguar needs to survive. And then think about this. Did you learn the answers to all your questions at the beginning of the module? And if not, how could you design an experiment to help answer them? Great job, guys. See you in a few weeks.